I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. As all and I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vet. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. Something I... Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your... Right, forgot about that. Though shock and disbelief is a good way to put it. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. The guy just vanished without a trace one day. No goodbyes, no explanations. Been gnawing at me ever... That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. Carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to disobey. I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me.
Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you... Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but... Yeah. I'm fe You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right. Go on through. Got my sights on you. Those guys are either gonna try to shoot us or sell us something potent. Either way, should be fun. Clyde must be inside. think you're doing all right fine get out of here Nothing to do but stand around and watch the stars go by. Been ages since we had a good haul. No freighters, no job, no contracts for weeks. Panning around. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. I thought you were dead. Or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. It's been five years, Clyde. The best thing you can say is, hey there, Hullhead? Now, Felix, the best thing I can say to you is yet to come. 
Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I don't know what you're trying to say, but he's earned his keep with us. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I imagine he has. I was a mentor to the boy during his formative years. You might say I have an elder brotherly interest in his de- oh, would have been nice to know that sometime in the last, uh, hang on, doing some math? I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy, that one day, he and I would change the colony together. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy we're... I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix, but neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the... You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel... Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows... Well enough. It's been a few years. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you're never back... What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an... You see what I had? Let's... A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to... One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim... The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of... Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege... So... Can we talk? Captain, something about this Harlow guy is... You want to expand on that? Come on, Felix. He's obviously up to something. Yeah, but I usually mean it as a compliment. The way Harlow is leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels... Clyde's a decent fellow. I mean, it's not like I'd take up with some double-dealing crook, right? Good. That...
If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parval? Wait to send Sam down to the bridge. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. On news. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? You mind? Trying to have a moment here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know... That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting... I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. Please, j That's right, our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before we A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of... Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with a fellow. You're better off having this disc. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say good- No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled. Appreciate it. Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch. Sugar cane and Purple Berry flavored power nuggets. Now with 12% more crunch.
Crew report. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Town's been dark a while now. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for. Armed strangers want... You want to try standing outside? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some night. Thank the Eternal. Wait. Zoe's family. Chiding her is our purview. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some marauders on them. I'll tell you. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the word. She was lazy and thoughtless. But she's still one of our own. What is it?
stall in the wrist. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got... How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to... I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit... Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. I squandered my chance. If I were a more patient man, I might have confronted Harlow, evidence in hand. But I got in his face. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard. And he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Take it, you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never gonna... <sighs> Here, take the ring.
stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? What's the word? So it is. Thus ends... Hope his gas bag's paying us by the hour. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to... The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole... Trask put you up to this. Oh, that miserable wretch. He... You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my... How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked... Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned... Their mistake. <laughs>
What was that? What was that? Nice one! If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? This is... this is definitely not... The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This... I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over... I hope so. I don't... You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over the part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. But you know, I think that's just my first. Thanks for your. Th
Something I can... Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she... You sound like some type of corporate fixer, asked... Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economy. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a... Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of... She called it journaling, but I think it's... The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with... Not much of a chance, no. Zoe's living with marauders? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe... Yeah, it could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of- Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words, Collector. Here you go. Latest copy of the Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe- I'll help- Hey! What I wouldn't do for a went. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? So you tracked me down just to gab about the I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I... What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad... Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well... You pretty much did my job for me. 
Let me know if I can... Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Take someone to watch your back, please. I think there's a generator somewhere? Uh, we ought to keep an eye on these autos. 
we poke around too much, they might wake up. Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security system. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe trap. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Dude, I ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. <laughs> that ain't no fun.
an eye on the floor.
Coast of Light will thank us for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. Chartrand is that scientist, right? From Cascadia? Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a... The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I'll have those dismantled. You can never be too careful when moving into someone else's territory. Aside from the automated security, did you meet? <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out all. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. Ask yourself. Why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? We have to put it. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. Right. I'm done. 
I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commit. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those months. No kidding. That's how they want it. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down. If you don't believe me, go pay a visit to the Puppet Master who's working against her own c Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. They've got me all wrong. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien... Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just a... We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension... An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She You're looking to shoot. I sold it. Didn't seem to make me. Hmm. That mod was for your gun, not your smart. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some people just like to sass me because I don't buy. 